this is problem 32 of chapter 23. For this problem, we're asked to explain the resolution limit. So where does that come from? Well, first, let's look at the equation for Ari, Ari's disk. So that formula says sine of theta is equal to 1.22 lambda over d. So this equation describes a first order diffraction minimum going through an aperture with a diameter d. So if we have some diameter d here and there's uh, so th let's pretend light is going through this this hole we're gonna and then we have a screen here so let's try to draw this as like as, as a projection so here is the screen and light is coming through here what you would observe is a spot here in the middle let's go ahead and fill it in so we would see the spot here in the middle and then bands around we would see bands around this first bright spot here. And these uh, secondary bands are much less bright than the first. So the angle formed from the center of this hole to the center of this pattern here it's going to be marked here with this green line and then we're going to also draw another line to that diffraction minimum this angle is theta so depending on the wavelength and the aperture diameter we're going to get this angle theta for this pinhole here this central region is most more intense than the outer bands here so if we were to plot this if we were to look at this in terms of intensity we would draw something like this there would be the most intense region here in the center something like that and then a minimum and then uh, the secondary bands out here so we would have secondary bands tertiary bands and these would be very thin and not as intense as, the, as that initial band so this is what an object would look this would be the pattern that we would see okay so for the resolution limit w this angle is going to get even smaller and remember for small angle approximations sine of theta is approximately equal to theta. So the equation for that Rayleigh criteria it is theta res and this is going to be equal to 1.22 lambda d. So theta resolution is a is the minimum value at which an object could be resolved or the minimum angular distance at which two objects can be resolved. Notice that here from this Aries disk setup as theta goes to zero for small angles sine of theta is equal to theta so these these equations are very very close. And then for small angles here we're gonna draw two separate objects so here we're gonna have a similar setup let's go ahead and draw our pinhole with a certain diameter D here and then let's put a screen on this side here we go here's our screen now let's have two objects here shining light on through this hole so let's have object one let's draw it as a square here's object one here is object two 
So light coming from object one, we already know how it's gonna that type of image it's gonna form here on the screen. It's gonna be some some blob like this. So let's go ahead and draw uh, some light rays here. So we have light coming from this first object. We have a bunch of light rays coming from this first object, and then as they come through here, we're gonna get this single, this like aperture diffraction pattern here, and the intensity here on the screen is gonna look something like something like this. And the same thing is gonna happen for the second object. The second object is also going to be going through the slit here, and it's going to form a similar pattern on the other side. So at this angle, these two objects are clearly distinct on the screen. We have two regions of intensity. However, as we bring these objects closer and closer together, so if we bring this object here closer to this one, as we reduce their angular distance, so notice that this angle here as it goes through the camera, or through the hole, as it goes through this hole here, these get closer and closer together the projections on the screen. So this gets closer to this. And at that angle, theta res, you should be able to dist you distinguish the two objects. However, if you go lower than theta res, what happens with the two images they begin to overlap. So look, if we reposition these images like so, they begin to overlap, and beneath this angle, they just form one blob, and you can't distinguish between the two objects. So here, let's say that this is theta res, where we're still able to distinguish two distinct objects. We call that angle theta res. Any angle lower than that, and we can't resolve the, these two objects on this screen. So theta res depends on the wavelength of the light used. So that is the characteristic of the light that determines theta res, the wavelength. Theta res, that resolution limit, also depends on the diameter of that aperture. So that is the characteristic of the optical device that determines the resolution limit. A small resolution limit means that an angular separation that has a small quantity can be resolved on the screen. A smaller resolution limit is a more powerful is a more powerful camera that could distinguish or microscope that could distinguish between two objects. So the lower the resolution limit the better the microscope or the optical device that you're using here. The greater the resolution limit, so let's pretend the resolution limit for this, this optical device was way out here. If it was way out here, that means that the, the images that it's producing are going to be much bigger, like so, such that if we get closer, we shouldn't be able to resolve these two. So they would have to be this this big for the resolu for for these two intensities to interfere and we sh and we wouldn't be able to resolve it. So we want a theta res that's smaller. The smaller the theta res, the more you'll be able to distinguish two objects that are angularly close together. So that is what is meant by that resolution limit given by this uh, Rayleigh criterion equation.